This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at creating and configuring virtual networks in Hyper-V. We've talked about some of the basics and even more advanced features, and then the steps for creating and configuring those networks, but we just want to take a look. Uh, so let's open up Hyper-V from the start page. Hyper-V Manager, we've got the virtual switch manager here. Uh, so you've got, I've got a single network, which is an external network that's connected to my network card. Uh, you know, we've got some of the other options there, uh, VLAN identification and the, uh, the single root I.O. virtualization as well. We're going to actually just create a new switch. Internal, remember, is VMs and the physical machine only, but no external connection. Private is only the, uh, uh, only the VMs, and so that's what I'm going to, uh, to create. Okay. We'll call it my private switch. Okay. It is a private type, and you know there there we go. All right, so that not really a whole lot to uh, to creating additional switches, and then within a virtual machine we can you know create network adapters that utilize those switches. So for instance, in this machine right now, I've got the single network card that is connected to the external network. So I hit add hardware, and I can add a network adapter, which is synthetic and supports all the options, or a legacy, which is kind of supports a limited number of options. We're going to hit add and then connect that to the My Private VM switch. Now, notice here, uh, this is where I have, you know, some of the additional options, so bandwidth throttling, okay, we can do that. You do have to expand this if you want some of the additional features. Uh, we've got hardware acceleration here. Um, you've got advanced features of static MAC address. Those other options of the DHCP guard, router guard, uh, port mirroring, uh, NIC teaming in the guest operating system. Uh, you can enable this network adapter to be a part of a team. So basically, I could set up multiple uh, physical adapters. <clears throat> But then I would need to enable this so that I can use NIC teaming inside the guest operating system. So that's kind of an important uh, setting there. All right. So uh, again, we've kind of just been talking about these abstract features and, and whatnot, and this really is this represents uh, you know some of those uh, abilities. So this is where you find those advanced features and some of the basic uh, features, those those cap those uh, options. So, but it is just creating VM switches, and some of the options are on the switch, and then creating network adapters for the individual guests that use those switches, and some of your options will be uh, at that level. So, uh, the actual options that you choose in a real uh, situation are going to vary <coughs> based on your needs. Uh, but now at least we have talked about and seen all the available network options in Hyper-V. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.